and welcome. Thank you for watching. I'm Wes, this is Tom, this is the Hippie Explorer. We travel around New England uh, exploring stuff, looking for gold. And today, it's raining. We're in the tent. Pouring. Pouring. It's going to rain all day. Uh, we'll get the uh, official weather report from the Hip B um, soon. He's still sleeping. But we, <laughs> we just got up. And we're not cooking here. Don't feel like cooking today. So we're going to run down to Rumford. We got some wood over there, but it didn't burn too well. So we're going to get some better kiln dried wood to use with that. And it'll be much better. So we're going to get a breakfast down at Dunkin Donuts, get some wood. And we're going over to the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop today. We've got some pay dirt we want to pan out and we might meet and greet people. We told people we we're going to be here, so we'll see what happens. Let's do it. got our breakfast. What you got there? It's almost gone. Sausage, egg, and cheese. Yeah, I got a, a nice fancy. Look at that. Yeah, that's a big barula. <laughs> <laughs> We're parked at the football field in, uh, in Rumford. So we're going to have our breakfast here. And then we're going to uh, head over to the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop. We've got some pay dirt from Lester Lapore. I think we're going to do there today. And um, who knows? All right. Let's do it. Let's eat. We just came back to camp. We're going to pick up a few things that we need here before we head over to the rock shop. And we also got to check with the hip bee because this weather don't look so good. Hey, all you groovy dudes, and you slap heavy of it. This is Hip B, and I'm here to give you the weather. Let's go! That don't look so good. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain all day. You're gonna get wet. <laughs> You're gonna get wet. <laughs> you better be safe out there. Make sure you put your rubbers on. <laughs> you don't wanna get your feet wet. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna go sit somewhere where it's dry. Doo -doo. He likes it when we get wet, huh? Hmm. We're gonna get wet. Yeah. Oh well. That's oh, the way well. it goes. All right, we're gonna pack up our stuff here. We're gonna head over to the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift. Let's go. We're out here and we met the Gary and Eric, they came up and uh, we're hanging out here. As you can see, it's pouring out there, but we're under here having fun. We're going to be panning some dirt in a little while. Thanks for coming up and saying hello. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, oh, oh they're going to pick a number. They didn't even know. Oh, boy. But we got giveaways today for the people that come up. So, Gary, why don't you go first? Pick a number from 1 to 10. It's going to pick your prize. Okay, all right, all right. Um, I just fallen out. Uh, seven. 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 He picked number seven. What's he win, Tom? Number seven. Oh, that is a $25 gift certificate. Oh, oh $25 gift to the gift certificate store, to the... Right? No, no, to this store right oh, here. Oh, to here. Uh, <laughs> even better. I just fell out better. <laughs> well, it, it, you can use it. That's right. <laughs> hey, this is a special gift certificate. This is a special gift yeah. certificate. From Julie. Oh, yes. Uh, we met Julie and Randy out on Welch Brook uh, earlier this year, and they answered some trivia questions and won a gift certificate. Well, Randy sadly passed away. So we're giving this out. As, uh, Julie gave it back to us to give out to somebody in his name, and Gary's going to get it. 
And here it is. You got a $25 gift certificate. Uh, and rest in peace, Randy. Sorry to Julie. Thank you very much for uh, giving it back to us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next up is Eric. You're going to pick a number from 1 to 10. Number you know three. 7 already has been picked. Oh, number 3. What is it? Oh, we have a pay dirt. Oh! All right. And this <laughs> is donated from Steve and Judy. Steve and Judy? Can you say that? Grayador Prospecting. Steve and Judy. Thank you very much. Eric, you got some pay dirt to Thank do. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Wow. One. There it is. Pay dirt. Right. Right on. Right on. I bought this shirt just before we came up here for Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Eric has something interesting here. We're gonna take a look at it. Let's take let's see what this thing is. It's always Okay, what is this? Let me, let me get the side of the the name on the side. I like the scope by Thomas. <laughs> Electro positive frequency induction locator. Electroscope. I've never seen this. Yeah, what, 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 what is this? You're watching on YouTube. <laughs> is that, it? The what? guy is unbelievable. I saw it in the. Uh, Let's take a look at the top and we'll see what's on the. This is a uh, for silver and a silver here and a booster. Yeah. So you can boost the uh, the electromagnetic in the ground. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it's a stronger hit. So I always leave it on boost. And the setting, the best setting is at four. And this thing hits and like that, no tomorrow. And put is that so on? This what is you on gonna... a swivel. I don't do nothing, right? I'll, now, I'll swing it. Like, it'll pick up the copper in your car. Watch. It's going to stop right on your car. I'm going to keep going. And it just wants to stay there. All right. No, will it so do that's that for gold? It works the same as gold. Yeah. Yeah. gold, silver, platinum. Okay, let's go, let's go inside. I want to see this next to the gold that's inside. <laughs> the guy gave me a guarantee that if <laughs> I didn't like it within 90 days, send it back and give me my money back, no problem. I paid 700 for it. He's had it for They years. got him up to 5,000. Have you ever seen one of these? No. He lost one, left it this out of his truck. Watch this. Watch this. Right on, yeah. Lost, lost it. it. Bought Try another it. one. Mm -hmm. That's how much he lost it. Right on it. Watch. <laughs> I know toy. I get it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> let's let's see it do that uh, with that gold. Will it? Will, will, cause oh, yeah, that gold. Pick all this up. From that far away? It will Probably pick up. Away. I, I can go yeah. up to a mile. What? Oh yeah. We found a diamond ring in the, on the King of Mangus. See? Now watch right this. On I'm gonna walk yeah. by it. Okay, wait. Can I try that? Absolutely. I want to make sure there's no gimmick to it here. The hardest part is to learn how to balance it. It takes a whole day to do it. It wants to go everywhere. But once you get it, it you, you 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 become very good at it. It's like a digital type dowser. It's there a dowsing rod, basically. Yeah. For gold okay. and silver. Let me hold. Let me hold it over here. I'm going to move it. It wants to go towards the goal. It, oh, absolutely. There you have it, electronic dowsing rods. I thought I've seen everything now. Electronic dowsing rods. Amazing. <clears throat> the biggest nugget I found was a uh, pennyweight. And I found my location. You found them with the dowsing rods? Well, I found them. Oh, they found the location. Yeah. So with these, you can see they, they spin freely. Yeah. And you hold them just barely tipped down. You don't want them tipped up. Just barely tipped down, shoulder width apart. And you walk towards towards the target, and they should cross. The aura for each person is different. For me, my target's usually back here. So we'll see. I haven't used them in forever. Well, other than yesterday. Huh. If you go beyond, they'll, they'll open back up. So we'll let somebody else uh, try in here too. That's crazy. Oh, wow. And then they open back up. Now, huh. I, wow. I'm not touching those rods. They're doing yeah, it on oh, the Yeah, oh yeah. Same idea. I can try, sure. There. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the nugget. A little bit. Right there. Let's settle down. <laughs> right about there. 
Yeah, keep them as level as you can, yeah. Look at there they go. Look at that. What are the rods made of? There's the nugget right there. Let's see if the needles cross. Wider apart, Dave. Just over the nugget. So oh, I did. Oh, it did. Mine's about where you yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. after you pass it, yeah. in the same place. Okay, now I got to give it a try here because I've never used it. Yeah, it's slightly forward, maybe. The target's down there, right there on the ground. And he's got the dowsing rods. Here we go. I'm not, no, I don't know. If I'm doing it, or let me do that again. I wasn't too impressed with that one. I'm to keep these straight. Let's try it again. Straight, Rosie, or down a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Just not yeah. I don't know yeah, why they're making like me that. laugh so much. Because <laughs> they didn't move the first time. What do you got there? Is that the same type of thing? Yeah. Similar. Yeah, yeah. You passed the target, they still didn't move. I was going to ask you what they were made of. This is awful. I guess they don't work for everybody. <laughs> okay, let's see if the nose does better with the dowser. <laughs> this guy was amazing. I don't know how the hell he ever figured something like this out. Wow, it's amazing. Did it cross? Yeah, they did cross. Yeah. They did. Right, right after you pass it. So it's got to be right behind you, so like she said. My phone's always behind me. I'm always looking in the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> We're up here playing with the dowsing rods at uh, Coos Canyon Rock and Gift and Kinky, a viewer. Now, where are you from? New Sharon. New Sharon. And yeah. where's that located? Uh, by Farmington. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he came up to say hello. Hello. He uh, hello. left us some, uh, the maple crumpets. If you watched the episode yesterday, last week, you would have seen us eating those delicious maple. Uh, oh, fighting over them. They were called <laughs> maple sticks. I he, got the last he lost. He took a bite out of his and fell asleep, and it was gone by the time he woke up. <laughs> yep, they are good. <laughs> Thanks for coming up. Hey, we're having a giveaway today. Oh, we're so. having a giveaway. Oh, oh we got uh, pick a number from one to ten. What numbers have already been picked? It doesn't matter. I'll tell you if you pick that. Okay, pick number. a number from 33. one. Thirty-three. From, no, from 1 to 10. 10. 1, one to, to 10. 10. <laughs> That's a little too high. I, I went to Mount Blue. I wasn't that good. <laughs> 7. 7. What number? 7 has been taken. Pick 7 has been number. taken. Pick another number. 6. 6. Okay. That hasn't been taken. I know. Yeah. What's he get? Let's see what you get. This bag from Jim McLean. Oh, Jim McLean. McLean donated this. Let's see what's in it. You got a box oh, of gold nice. bearing paper. Look. Look at Thank that. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Oh, great. Thank you, Fantastic. Jim. Oh, and there's an amethyst. Oh, yeah. Amethyst in there. Nice amethyst. Ooh, beautiful. Take a look. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Thanks so much, guys. Great. We're up here hanging out at the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop, and Lisa and Jill. Jill and Lisa are here, and uh, they're gonna. They've agreed to be. I think they've agreed, but they've agreed now to be on camera and pick a number. So pick a number from. Uh, what do you got? One to ten. One to ten. Number eight. Let's see what she won. Oh, twenty-five dollar gift certificate from Rosie. Donated from Rosie. Here you go. A twenty-five dollar gift certificate. You can do some shopping. <laughs> And Lisa, you can pick a number. Nine. Number nine? I don't think that's been picked yet either. 
What do you win, Tom? Good. That's another twenty-five dollar. Oh, it's another twenty-five dollar gift certificate. Number nine. Congratulations! Now you can you can do some shopping. <laughs> Thanks for coming up. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> gift shop, and we have Lisa. Lisa, there was two Lisas here, and, and Alan. Alan, Lisa, and Alan. Thank you for coming up. Thank you. Would you like to pick a number? You got any prizes left? I got four. Oh, okay. Well, pick a number from one to ten. Two. Two. Okay, we got a two, and that is a pay dirt. Oh, we Whoa. got a pay dirt for you. Want a oh, pay dirt? Shit. We were just talking about that. <laughs> and that was donated by John Hersey. John Hersey donated some pay dirt. Yay! It's John. Lisa, Thank you, John. you want some pay dirt? And well, you want to pick a learn. number? One. Number one. I think that's pay dirt as well. That's another. Pay you got dirt. some gold. <laughs> That was donated by Laurie and Tony King. Laurie and Tony King donated the pager. There you go. You got some. You, and, and if Tony. you want, you can pan it out if you want. Or you can bring it home. Up to you. Because we have some pay dirt that we bought here for a while ago. We're just thinking about mixing it with it. There you go. Now you'll you get a bunch of gold. Thanks for coming up. Thank you for being here. Yeah, no kidding. We're out here uh, meeting people, and William Doring came up. Where are you from? North Attleboro. North Attleboro. Wow. Tom's neighborhood. So you must have gone to uh, the uh, Coney Island Wieners there. Have you ever been there? Tex Berries. Tex Berries. The best around. You want a uh, chance to uh, win something? Sure. Two. Number two. He's picking number two. What does he got? What do we got, Tom? That is this one right here. And that is from Steve and Judy. Steve and Judy yeah, donated to us. It was left here. Well, we got a grab bag, so grab I don't know bag. what's in that. We don't even know what's in that. That's very like nice, gemstone. Nice. gemstone. Look at that. Oh, and look at that. Awesome a Coos mug. Canyon mug. That's going right with my coffee tomorrow morning. Look at that. Well, congratulations. There you go. Thank you to, Thank you. Uh, that was Steve and Judy. Yep. They Steve donated. Judy. Thank you very much, Steve Thanks, and Judy. Steve and Judy. <laughs> I told her if she bought some honey, she'd get a gold cake. The honey gold cake. Away, and then you end up with a oh, big pile once of you get it down you, there, you, you just, just keep, dump everything keep, else out. Mm. Yeah. Just keep adding more and more gravel. Wait till this gets full. Okay, let me, and then let pan me that out. Yourself. And then, then pan that out. Let me. Let me and then when you get down to your cons, you drop it back in here. Go back and forth like this. It stratifies it. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. Stuck down in here, and then you tilt it like this. So have you been using that? Oh, I, I use different pans all the time. Do you, you find that do that works exceptional? Or? No, I like my Garrett Gold Super Sluice. I don't yeah. care. I like that pan, that's though. been out for quite a while. The YouTube videos for it like 10 years uh, It's probably a good production pan because once you shake the gold down into that, it's not coming out. Right. Who and makes you can the just pan? Get rid of everything else and dump it into another pan. <laughs> Who makes this pen? <laughs> Trinitybowl.com. In the USA. Be good. Yeah. I just thought it's really an interesting looking I'm, pen. I'm sure you could find some. Because I know he's out of business. Oh. Well, but I'm is? sure you could find somebody. Yeah. That made it's it. little Joey and Tiffany and, and Big Joe, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they've been watching for a long time. And he picked number seven today. We've been giving away prizes, as you know. And what was number seven? I gotta go get it. He's gotta go get it. Oh. I think he picked the good number. Let's go see. So you drove up from, you're from Massachusetts. Yes. And uh, what's the name of the town again? I forget. Ashland. Ashland, Massachusetts. And they drove up to see the hippie. Yeah. Well, yep. we'll, we'll get the hippie. He's sleeping right now, but we'll get him for a picture. We I'll wake him up. Oh my this goodness. is a mine lab panning kit that you want. Oh my God, Joey. 
That was donated by Dale and Ann Covey. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you you so won. Much. Look at that. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's three of them. Now, is that the whole box? You got to keep nice. doing more. Yeah. Let's put the gold there. Oh, yeah. nice. The vial. All right. Right here, Lester Lapola left this for us here at the rock shop the other day when we came up. This is from Carolina Prospectors. You can check them out online. CarolinaProspectors.net. I'll put a link down in the description for this. We're going to dump some in here. It says on it. Two pound fine to course pan at least twice. Now, well, we'll see about that. I'll save the tailings in this because I don't know what. I'm going to try it right there and see what we can see. See what we can see, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. That's ridiculous. Look at that. Holy. That's <laughs> insane. Half the bag. Wow. Wow. Nice. Wow, that's going to be a pile. That's crazy gold there. No, let's hear it for Carolina Prospect. Carolina yeah, we want to go there. <laughs> You know what we do at this point? Suck it up. Suck it up. <laughs> Very good, Kinky. All right, and we're going to just leave whatever's in there and dump some more in. Ah, we'll dump it all. I'm going to save it all anyway, so. Lester Lepore. He's been watching our videos. I've been talking to him online for a couple years. And he went over to Twin River Camp. The day he left, we came in. He came up here. The day we left, he was here the next day. <laughs> so we've been missing back and forth. So one of these days, I'm gonna go one more time here. I'm trying to go slow once I saw how much gold was in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it again. We'll see. Yeah. And it was either all in the first pan. How did that happen? It was all in the first pan. <laughs> Must have been on the top of the bag or something. I mean, there's some in there, but not like it was. You see what's up at the top? That's funny. Mm. I just shook that bag not too long ago. It <laughs> might have all settled to one side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the water out of that wow. and see what we missed. Now we're repainting re the tailings to see what Prospector West missed. This should be interesting. I see gold. That's what I missed on the first. Well, there's more gold in there than the second pan. <laughs> there is. That's everything from Carol. Oh, wow. Let me shake it down again because I kind of. Oh my gosh. Now there's some gold. Look at that. Wow. Thank you, Lester Lepore. He sent that to me. He, he's not from North Carolina. I'm, he's from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Was that the full thing? Yeah. Suck it up. Suck it up. It's Scott Lyons and Amanda. Behind your head. There, there, there <laughs> they are. And I didn't reckon him, recognize him when he first came in. I'd met him several times. <laughs> but I'm that way. Somebody will tell me their name and I'll forget them in seconds. Yeah, you call me Todd, too. Todd. <laughs> uh, and they brought us some... Zucchini relish. Zucchini relish. We're going to have to try that with something. We'll put honey in it, too. Yeah, Rosie, yeah, Rosie likes... Actually, we use a little bit of honey in it. Yeah, yeah it's a little bit of... Uh, oh, is there? Yep. Oh, hey, we're well, going to pick a number for our giveaway today. Oh, you got to pick a number. Uh, between what and what? One and ten. One and ten. Seven. Uh, seven? seven. All right. You're the lucky winner. Really? <laughs> yeah, you really are. Well. <laughs> yeah, you know, the funny thing is she loves yeah. the number seven. Yeah. Let's see what we got. <laughs> All right. 
We gotta grab that. Ooh, look at that mug. Nice. Oh, he's taking him in with a nice moose. Oh, look he at loves that. Some mugs. <laughs> that was donated to us from uh, Steve and Judy. Oh, Steve and Judy. Thank, Thank you, you, Steve and Judy. So Congratulations! You don't, have, you don't have to do any shopping today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's after three. Just a few of us left here. <laughs> and it's time for crumpets, my favorite pot. <laughs> and I don't usually have ice cream for crumpets. And it's not good for my diet, but it's been a good day. We pan gold. Met a lot of friendly people came from all over and uh we're having a good day might love a good day because i'm sleeping in a wet tent tonight <laughs> but it won't be wet well I, it was dry last time i left it so uh, but it's going to be a a noisy night in the tent i think hopefully the firewood we got today will be better than what we had last night because that didn't didn't burn we got some kiln drive so that should be better. What do you think? Did you have a good day today? Day. What'd you think, guys? We had a great day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're back over at the camp. And what a day. Wow, we a lot of people came up. We met so many nice people and we talked all day and we panned out dirt and uh, I mean everybody even little Joey was there um, But now we just got back to the camp, but I Don't have any cell phone service here, but just down the road we do and um, I want to People, I want people who are going to be sending me pictures, and I want to see if I can get those pictures so I can post. So we're going to drive to where I have cell phone service before we come back and set up camp because we want to put a thank you out to everybody. And we're going to tell you everybody now that came up, thank you very much for coming up and seeing little old us out there panning. And, but it was a great day. It was a lot of fun. So... Uh, we're going to do that, and then we're going to come back to camp. And, uh... we got the fire going. And we're probably going to cook in here on the stove tonight. Got plenty of wood, dry wood there, wet wood over there. Kind of got a mix. Three hours later. It's been a long time since uh, we took a nap. We built a fire, we laid down, and it was it, with the sound of the rain, put us out. Now it's much later, and it's time to cut up this broccoli. Time to chop some broccoli. Someone wrote a song once about that. <laughs> I don't think they did. Yeah, they did. Chopping broccoli. Adam Sandler, he wrote the Chop and Broccoli song. No more. No more. Broccoli. Chop and Broccoli. All right, we're going to do that. Look at that. Holy smokes. Is it going to fit? I don't mm -hmm. know. Barely. You put a cover on it. <laughs> no, it's in there. And we went to J.B. Butcher in Tewksbury, Massachusetts, and got their Korean hanger steaks, they're called. There they are. And we're going to put them in there like that. So there we go. We're going to get that going, and we'll be back. We're back because we have these sausages that were in the cooler and they need to be cooked. So we're going to bite the bullet. 
<laughs> I'm gonna cook them too. We're gonna put them right in there. Pow. Oh, right in with the steak, huh? Right in with the steak. I'm just gonna throw them in there. They'll probably get the hanger steak flavoring as well as they cook. We were gonna have those yesterday morning, but we ended up going to Mills Market instead. Yeah, so. Who can blame us? They're so good over there, Mills. For the favorite part of the hippies, the hippie honey. There it is. And the Korean hanger steak from JB Butch, you can have just the way it is. It's delicious. Um, but if you want to make it even more delicious, add a little bit of honey to that. We got sausages in there. We're gonna drizzle a little honey around that, like that. Okay. I'm not sure what the spices are for JB Butcher for their Korean hanger steaks, but kind of like a teriyaki, but not so much soy sauce. And it's really good. And we're gonna mix that honey in to everything. Hey, look at that. Doesn't that look mobby on the bobby? Well, there's no bobby here, but it's still mobby. Look at that. Very Halloween-ish. Fantastic. Right. I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Let's look for some look fine at that. choices. Voila, and we get sausages. Look at that, and the sausage is all cooked in that hanger seasoning, Korean seasoning. They smell really good too like that. Yeah. Oh, what do we got up here? Oh, broccoli. Broccoli. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring that over to the table, and we'll tell you how it is. Voila. Here we are. Everything looks good. It yeah. smells great. Let me try the sausages. I've never had sausage and steak cooked together with the Korean seasoning. Mm. That's actually really good. It's a breakfast sausage. Yeah, really good. Let's try the steak. Tastes like a teriyaki, almost like a Chinese teriyaki. Mm. That's really good. But there's some other kinds of spices in there. I don't know what they are. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sausage and steak is actually a great combination to cook together. Mm. Mm. This is delicious. And we're hungry. <laughs> so we're gonna eat. And you can grab yourself a snack too. And we'll be back. Here we are. Dinner was delicious. Excellent. My favorite of the trip so far. And it was a wonderful day. We met a lot of people. Um, and a big shout out to, I, I can't mention everybody because you know, I don't know how many were there, but it's too many to mention. Um, a lot of them are the names you see going up the screen right here. And we thank all of them for coming out um, and Karen Forrester, who couldn't make it, Tom talked to her on the phone. She actually that called was great. in. <laughs> well, that was great that uh, you got a chance. To, she called, it was calling in some order to Rosie, and Tom overheard the Uxbridge, the address, and he was familiar because she. I knew it right stuff. away it was Karen. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Brian Kennison come up. I didn't get a chance to get him on film, but I want to say a big shout out to Brian Kennison. He's great. He always spreads the word for us. 
And, we uh, do his on film. Yeah. He's in his pan. Pal. Oh, right. He brought the pan. I didn't film it, but he did. Yeah. That's why I didn't remember. Brian he, Tennyson has a wealth of information. Yeah, that he guy is. knows his prospecting. He knows his prospecting. He knows his stuff. And it's yeah. always great talking with him. I appreciate him coming up to see us. I don't know if he came up specifically to see us or not, but he did tell us in the morning, I'm coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and we no, saw him. It was great to see him. And he brought that pan. I've never seen that. I thought I'd seen all the pans. But, uh... That was an interesting Interesting. Pan. Very interesting. Everybody I, enjoyed that. I think it's great for production, because you can get the gold in there. But then when you're down to the nitty grits, you might want to dump it into another pan. Yeah. Finish it off. And, uh, what else? Check out the hippie.com. Get yourself some honey and some Korean hanger steaks and... Delicious. <laughs> And if you can't get enough of us, you can hit that join button. And there's going to be members videos every other month. I put one up, and there's a whole bunch up there for new members to watch. Oh! Oh! Interruption. Well, a very, very, very special thanks to Rosie. Rosie. From Coos King and Rock and Gift. For letting us uh, do that there. and She's unbelievable. She's an angel. She is. And she comes out. She brought her dows and rods out. And everybody wanted the dows and brows. Yeah, we couldn't do this without her. No. You know? Yeah. So thank you, Rosie. For letting us uh, hang out at your place and, uh, you know. Cause a fun. ruckus. Cause a ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> Until next week. Peace. Peace.